let us start with a short story. The last time India and Australia played an ODI series was way back in 2021 and it had a nice couple of contexts in place. For starters, it was part of the ICC Women's ODI Championship that year and also each match had points at stake because that series was part of a large multi-format series. India and Australia are now set to play three women's ODIs at the Wankhede Stadium. They are not part of the women's ODI Championship. They don't have points at stake. What do we look forward to in them? Bring the Women's ODI World Cup 2025 into picture, these matches gain a lot of importance. For India, there are a few new faces in the squad with Titash Sadhu, Shreyanka Patil, Mannat Kashyap and Saika Ishak getting their maiden call-ups. Ishak and Shreyanka Patil have really done well in the WPL, whereas Mannat Kashyap and Titash Sadhu were part of the Under-19 World Cup win for India, which was in T20 format. How do these players do in the 50 overs? That is one point to look forward to. Richa Ghosh, she wasn't part of the last ODI series that India played, which was in Bangladesh earlier this year, their only ODI series in 2023. She returns in place of Uma Chetri, the backup wicketkeeper then. And it, this series will also mark the return of Rit, uh, Renukat Singh Thakur to the white ball formats. Given India haven't played a lot of ODIs, it also remains to be seen what their ODI template is. So lots to look forward to for India. For Australia, again, it's life after Meg Lanning. This is the first series for Alisa Healy as full-time uh, captain of Australia. She led them in the uh, women's ashes. They lost that series. They won the series against Ireland and West Indies. But this is the conditions they might face in 2025. And this is likely to be the group that plays that World Cup. They have Ellis Perry, Talia Megra, the, all the familiar names in Georgia Wareham as well. But one name to look forward to is Darcy Brown. She picked up an injury in the ODI series against West Indies, missed a large part of the WPBL West Adelaide Strikers. Her team won the title and she also was rested from that one-off test match last week. How will she shape up in the 50-over format? Lots to look forward to in the ODI series.